My name's Dave Sheehan, I'm the Safety and Training Manager in MANA Aerospace and basically what we do is we do last mile deliveries via drone um, and we do so in currently in North County Dublin in Balbriggan and we're branching out into Blanchardstown which is again another uh, town in North County Dublin. This drone that we use it's not something you would buy in, in a local electronics store so it's, 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 all, it's made all in-house um, from the frame to, to the shell to all of the electronics the motors we, we, we bring in, but everything else is made by us in MANA, yeah, by our engineers in MANA, yeah. We would deliver uh, fast food, uh, pharmaceuticals, coffees, um, grocery shopping um, to the customers uh, in our, in our, in our neighbourhoods, basically in the neighbourhoods that we set up in. So uh, currently in Balbriggan now, there's, what is there, there's 120,000 people in Balbriggan. Um, so we're serving approximately 25% of, of the town at this point in time that we've captured and we hope to expand on that uh, over the next coming months. We've gone from, from strength to strength. We've been here about two years now. And so if you walk around the town and look up, people aren't even, you know, when they're going about their business, they're not even noticing the drones in the skies anymore because we've become part of the town. So it's, uh, it's, it's fantastic. We've been, we've been doing great work here. And uh, it's all down to the, the populace of, of Balbriggan Town. A bit of background. So we started off uh, way back, uh, about four years ago, um, in uh, Moneygall, a small town mm -hmm. in the west coast of Ireland. And uh, we graduated from Moneygall then to another town called Oran Moor with an increased population, uh, population density. And from Oran Moor we moved to Balbriggan again, um, uh, multiplying our, our, our um, customer demands and, and uh, the population there. And then again Blanchardstown will be uh, a multiplication of that as well. So we're growing all the time. Um, from our side of it, we don't have enough drones. We're trying to get more drones built to, to, to look after uh, all of our customers, um, you know, as we grow. Um, and currently now we're in Balbriggan. Uh, we've opened a base over in the United States, in Texas. Um, as I said, Blanchard Sound is, is in the offing in the next couple of weeks, another base there. And again, we're gonna go further afield into Europe uh, in Q1 of 2024. So it's going very well at the moment. Uh, the technology that we use, um, it's obviously green tech. Um, you know, carbon emissions are virtually non-existent. Um, um, so, so it's battery, it's battery powered, lithium polymer batteries uh, power our drones. Um, we have two of those, sorry, um, in, in the drone themselves. Um, so we've got a main battery uh, pack and a backup battery pack as well, uh, lithium polymer. So, I mean, the, the, you know, charging of the drones is, 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 you know, the batteries of the drones is very quick, very efficient, very clean. Um, and yet yeah, we, we get to, our average flight time is about 2 minutes 45 uh, yeah, to a customer. So uh, it's very quick and, and as soon as the drone comes back, we replace it with a brand new fresh battery, a uh, fully recharged battery. The drones are manufactured in our uh, test base, our test facility is the middle of uh, Ireland in Offaly, in a town called Moorock. We have a, a great test facility out there, so we design, build uh, our drones down there and we test them uh, constantly and when they're fully tested and qualified, they're brought into the operation then. What we're trying to do is we're, we're trying to replace road-based deliveries, that's what we're trying to do here. Um, and, and, and you know, if you take for example a standard delivery, uh, food delivery, uh, where you ordered something from a restaurant, you're waiting quite some time, you could be the seventh order in that car by the time it gets to you. Um, the diesel burnt, the, you know, the paying for the driver, et cetera, et cetera, the, the additional costs for the restaurant and so on and so forth. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to you know, condense all of that uh, and create a greener uh, way to, to deliver product to uh, customers. Very, very simple uh, business case. The technology we use in our drones, um, we use a thing called LiDAR, okay, which is a, a ground radar, basically, for want of a better word, and it will study the topography of the land which is flying over. Mm -hmm. So it'll always maintain a, a specific altitude mm -hmm. um, and it will, when it's descending for a delivery, it could, you mean the ground level could be below sea level or above it, doesn't matter, but LiDAR will be able to figure that out and adjust the altitude of the drone accordingly. So um, it's not an issue for the topography of, 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 of an area, it isn't an issue for, for drone deliveries, but certainly for MANA. It's a um, vision system, it's a computer vision. And uh, we, we utilize it and we hope to expand on it. And in fact, we currently are for our next iteration, our next drone uh, will, be, will, will be incredibly uh, high tech um, and, and be able to handle all sorts of wind, topography, 
and so on. So, um, and incredibly waterproof as well. So all of the barriers that were once there are no longer becoming an issue because of the tech um, that uh, we're, we're, we're bringing on board. So fantastic and exciting times ahead. Our drone footprint is such that, you know, it affords us the ability to take 3.5 kgs of, of payload. Um, it also affords us the redundancy uh, that we need uh, to get you know, proper licensing and to have the aircraft be as safe as it possibly can be. The smaller the drone, the more, you know, maybe the more um, susceptible it might be to climatic changes. Um, and so our drone, we found a sweet spot, the size of it, the footprint of it, um, it's, it works. Uh, it works, it's able to handle heavy winds. The best sandbox in the world is, is Ireland for, 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 for weather, you know, um, and if we can do it here, we can do it anywhere.